Welcome to Rachel's Total Body Medicine Ball and Step Workout. A weighted ball is a great tool to add to your routine. It's versatile and portable, so you can use it anywhere and add it to almost any exercise to challenge core stability and improve coordination. This workout will help you build strength and shed pounds while sculpting your abs and tightening your torso. These moves also incorporate an exercise step. An exercise step makes you work harder by raising your body weight when you step on it. However, these moves are still effective without it, so if you don't have one, don't sweat it. We're going to begin with the step up and pull down. Hold the ball with both hands and your arms extended above your head. Place one foot on the step. Take a step back with your other leg and keep it straight. Tense up your abs. Push up with your foot that's resting on the step and raise your opposite knee and simultaneously bring the ball down to meet your knee. Step back to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Repeat 15 times on each side. To make this exercise more challenging, pause on top for one second. You're working your abs, core, arms, glutes, hip flexors, psoas, quads, and shoulders. Next, we're gonna do squat up to one arm shoulder press. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width and your toes slightly pointed out. Place one hand on your hip and hold the ball with the other hand and your arm extended above your head. Squat down as low as you can and bring the ball down to shoulder level. Don't bend your knees past 90 degrees. As you stand back up from the squat, extend your legs and arms at the same rate. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Three, two, one, begin. Keep your back straight and your abs tight throughout the exercise. To make the exercise easier, don't squat as low. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, glutes, quads, shoulders, and triceps. Next, we're gonna do a side swing with one leg. Take a staggered stance by placing one foot on the step and straightening out your back leg. 
Hold the ball with both hands in front of you. Tighten your abs and raise the ball up above your head and slightly to the side. Pause and return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Maintain good posture throughout. Do 15 reps on each side. To make this exercise more challenging, lower the ball in control for a count of six. You're working your abs, core, arms, legs, and shoulders. Now we're going to do a side step up and over with shoulder press. Stand on the step with your feet together. Hold the ball with both hands and extend your arms above your head. Take a wide step to the side and simultaneously bring the ball down to your chest. Tighten up your abs and keep your back straight throughout. Return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. alternate for 15 reps on each side. To make this exercise more challenging, take a wider step to the side and go lower on the way down. You're working your abs, core, abductors, adductors, glutes, quads, shoulders, and triceps. Now let's do a squat and curl. Stand with your feet wider than hip width apart and your toes turned out. Hold the ball in front of you with your elbows bent. Bend at the knees and lower your body until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Push yourself back up as you curl the ball up to your chest. Return to the starting position and repeat for 15 reps. Three, two, one, begin. To make this exercise more challenging, squat down lower. You're working your abs, core, biceps, glutes, and quads. Now we're going to do low to high wood chop. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width and your toes slightly pointed outward. Hold the ball in both hands to the side above shoulder level. Bend your knees and squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. At the same time, bring the ball down to the other side, below your knees. Keep your back straight and tighten your abs throughout. 
Return to the starting position and repeat 15 times on each side. Three, two, one, begin. Maintain good posture throughout. To make this exercise more challenging, squat down lower and pause on top. You're working your abs, core, arms, glutes, obliques, quads, and shoulders. Now we're going to do a seated chest press. Sit on the step with your feet together. Hold the ball in both hands at chest level in front of you. Make sure to maintain good posture by sitting up straight. Inhale and press the ball out in front of you by extending your arms all the way. Exhale and bring the ball back to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Keep your abs tight throughout. Repeat for 15 reps. To make this exercise more challenging, pause on top. You're working your abs, core, arms, chest, and shoulders. Next, we're going to do a squat and twist. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Hold the ball with both hands in front of you with your elbows bent and your arms parallel to the ground. Bend your knees and squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Tighten your abs, come up, and twist your torso to the side while maintaining the ball and your arm position. Slowly return the ball to your chest and repeat for 15 reps on each side. Three, two, one, begin. Maintain good posture throughout. To make it more challenging, squat lower. You're working your abs, core, arms, glutes, obliques, quads, and shoulders. Now we're gonna do a seated figure eight. Sit on the step with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Hold the ball in one hand in front of you and your other arm at your side. Maintain good posture and keep your abs tight. Lift one leg off the ground and pass the ball under your knee to your other hand. Three, two, one, begin. Alternate for 30 reps. To make this exercise more challenging, keep your feet off the ground at all times. You're working your abs, core, arms, hip flexors, psoas, and shoulders.
Congrats on starting your second circuit with Rachel. You've done really well with circuit one and now it's time to step it up. You can do it and we are with you every step of the way. Let's begin with step up and pull down. Be sure to always keep your posture upright throughout the set. Bring your knee up and your elbows down together at the same time. Breathe out as you step up and you should always keep your abs tense throughout your routine. Looking good. Focus on keeping perfect balance and extend your arms all the way up. Go full range. Excellent. This exercise will give you strong shoulders, great looking abs, and beautiful toned legs. Avoid going too fast that you lose your balance and step back just far enough that your foot on top of the step remains flat without the heel coming up. Well done. All right, here we go. The second exercise requires a weighted ball. Please select a weight that is suitable for you. You should feel that the weighted ball is heavy and challenging, but you still have complete control of it. Okay then, let's do squat up to one arm shoulder press. Hold the ball comfortably in one hand. Keep your posture erect at all times. Breathe out as you squat up and press the ball all the way up. Then squat down as low as you can without sacrificing your form. Great job. Tense and focus all of your muscles throughout the exercise. This will give you well-defined legs with killer glutes, great arms, and chiseled shoulders. You're doing really well, one rep at a time. Avoid squatting down too low that you bend your upper body forward and don't lift your heels up when squatting down. Keep up the strong momentum. If you're getting a little hungry, then eat a little protein bar or drink a protein shake. And if you're thirsty, then drink some water. Here we go, let's do side swing up with one leg. To do this, do a staggered stance with the forward leg on the step. Then swing the weighted ball up above you, then back down in between your legs. Keep your posture neutral throughout the routine. Keep your arms straight to really sculpt your shoulders. Great job. Remember to breathe out on the way up. Avoid hitting yourself when lowering the ball. Even though this routine works primarily your shoulders, you must keep your abs tight throughout. Well done. Keep going strong. Now do a little stretch, drink a little water, and let's get ready for the fourth exercise. Well done so far, keep it up. 
This is the second circuit, so push yourself to near failure with every set. The harder you exert your efforts, the greater and faster your results will be. So, let's do side step up and over with shoulder press. Give yourself plenty of room to maneuver around the step. Step up and over the step and come down into a squat. Squat down as low as you can. Press the ball up over your head as you step up. Breathe out when you come up. Establish a nice little rhythm without stopping or slowing down. Maintain a firm grip on the ball while keeping your legs loose. Push through the burn. You got it. This works everything. It targets your legs and firms up your quads and glutes while making your abductors and adductors stronger. It tones your arms while shredding up your shoulders. Your abs and back are also engaged, which helps to make your core stronger. Great job. You are on fire. Now let's do some squats and curls. To begin, squat down and touch the ball to the step. Keep your posture neutral while squatting up and down. You should always have even pressure on your toes and heels throughout this exercise. Breathe out as you curl the ball up into your body. That's it, well done. Focus on your form and push yourself through this. The exercise is relatively straightforward, but it's a two-set combo that utilizes so many muscles, so focus on getting the most out of your squats and curls. Avoid bending forward when squatting down and lifting your heels off the ground in order to squat lower. Excellent job, you're doing really well. Do a quick stretch and let's keep the strong momentum going. Congrats on making it past the halfway mark. You've done very well, but it's not time to slow down just yet. Let's do low to high woodshot to focus on your obliques. This exercise will also work your legs and arms and shoulders. Start by standing over the step. Squat down and reach the ball to one side towards your shin. Then breathe out and squat up. Swing your straight arms toward the opposite shoulder. Keep your posture nice and tall throughout. Avoid rounding your back as you squat down. Looking really nice. Don't slow down now. Focus on keeping your abs tight and twist and swing your arms from a low position to a high position. Great job. Good push through. Now get a little water to hydrate yourself and let's move on to the next exercise. Next, you're gonna do a seated chest press. This may look easy because you get to sit down for the first time, but it shouldn't be. Remember to grab a weighted ball that is challenging. Palm the outside of the ball and bring it to your chest. Make sure to maintain a perfect posture throughout. Breathe out and press the ball out in front of you. Press your arms straight to work your chest and shoulders. Get a lighter ball if you can't fully extend your arms while having perfect posture. Your chest and especially your shoulders will be screaming if you do this right. Your chest, arms, and shoulders will look so defined. For this exercise, you have to really focus and maintain your form. That's it, great efforts. Shake off your tiredness and soreness and let's move on. Now let's get back on your feet. Let's do squat and twist. Squat down as low as you comfortably can. Keep your posture neutral by not rounding your shoulders or back. This is a combo move, so focus on your legs and abs. Your legs will be so tight and your obliques will be even tighter. Keep a nice, even pace and go strong. Be determined to push through the burn of your arms, shoulders, and legs. Make them work hard and you'll be better for it. Perfect form every rep. Breathe out and squat and twist. Great job. Keep up the great attitude and push yourself just a little more. You got this, we're right here with you. This is your last one, so have fun and give it your all. It's called seated figure eight, so go ahead and sit down at the edge of the step. 
Keep your posture nice and tall always and have a great go at it. You've done really well, so finish it strong and hard. Lift one leg up and pass the ball under, then repeat with the other leg. Keep your abs tight and breathe out with every pass. When you lift your leg up, focus on tightening your abs. Avoid bending forward and rounding your back. This last exercise will tighten up your abs even more. Your arms and shoulders will be so defined. You're doing great. Congratulations, you did it. Now stretch and rehydrate yourself. Eat something nutritious soon. Let's finish by stretching you out. Focus on long stretches and breathe deeply every time. Loosen up all of your body parts nice and easy. Take your time and relax through all of your stretches. Make sure that you are sufficiently hydrated.